kind of a joyless gallon served soup in a green room. Uh, are they requesting that we eat it out of a cup, out of some kind of failed attempt at shabby chic? Nope, helter-skelter, forgot the bowls, hey. Just don't eat the soup. Jesus, look at this shit. It's like a goddamn public school cafeteria. Right? Uh, hey, Bat, if you're hungry, I'd love to take you out to lunch, maybe pick your broadcasting brain. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on lunch. No problem. Yeah, you could probably use the downtime. Actually, my aunt recently battled breast cancer. I look like I have breasts? No. <laughs> no, you look like you're entirely made out of muscle, just like a human tendon, you know. Uh, don't let the cancer fool you. He's an asshole. Has to make everybody around him feel small. It's part of his whole Matt the Bat shenanigans. His nickname? He got that from being a good hitter. Oh, no, he was a punch and Judy hitting infielder whose glove kept him in the game. No, the derivation of Matt the Bat comes from, uh, his locker room presence. It's got the biggest dick in baseball history. Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah. Matt loves all that uh, alpha male bullshit. He likes to bump into you accidentally on purpose to make an impression. Literally, left a dent. There's a density to it, Gabby. It's like a wind sock that's been packed with wet sand. Any hoodles, that's where the name Matt the Bat comes from. Also, he's the worst. I mean, the worst. And despite what you might have heard about me, I, I, no, I'm not. I want to assure you, sobriety has changed me, okay? Really, I am no longer that reckless, say anything, Jim. You just spent the last two minutes going into aggressive detail about our coworker's dick. Oh, shit, I did do that, didn't I? God damn it, I am just, I am not built for the 21st century workplace. I was still on for lunch. Because... Hey, 